everyone hope you are doing well so today we are coming up with a new topic uh, how do we send a birthday wishes using pega so we have customers in our uh, for a pega application right so you might want to send birthday wishes to them so how do you do this so how actually these birthday wishes will be sent whether it is only one time we are sending or it is multiple times or it is like day wise we are sending or only i mean uh, it is only for a only one time we are sending okay basically it would be day wise right because to maybe one customer can celebrate his birthday today or another customer maybe tomorrow or someone else in the next month in that way you have like if you have some 300 employees or 300 customers in your application maybe 300 uh, uh, times you are uh, this particular code whatever the code we are writing or whatever the requirement we have it should be done multiple times and it is irrespective of your uh, uh, cases so whether you create a case or not it should happen automatically at 12 o'clock right so whenever you are saying it should happen at 12 o'clock automatically without anything then definitely it should be a background processing so what we have in background processing we have job scheduler we have uh, uh, agents we have queue processor and all but which one you will be taking whether we want to go for agents yes in from 8 version we are just replacing agents with the job scheduler or queue processor so we will we'll either go with the job scheduler or we'll be either going with the queue processor whenever we talk about a queue processor queue processor is always attached with your work object that is your cases so here we are not dependent on cases it should happen automatically and it should happen multiple times where queue processor cannot be happen multiple times okay but a job schedule can happen multiple times so whenever we say multiple times per day or multi every day we if we are talking about in such a way then definitely you go with a job scheduler background processing so we have a video on job scheduler if you are not aware of it please go through that video basically job scheduler is a advanced agent where we can uh, run this job scheduler multiple times so now we are going to create a job scheduler which will send notifications uh, on the customer's birthday or however it is so in my example i am not going to take a customer data because you can you can try it but what i do is i create a cases in such a way that uh, in the cases itself a customer will give their name date of birth and email id so that based on these three things i'll be sending you uh, sending the uh, birthday notifications but you can create one local data source or you can have an external db where you know you will retrieve the customer data's date of birth and based on their date of birth you will be sending emails to them you can do that so to do job scheduler we need activity so uh, we need to first activity so let's create one activity so for this i am not uh, as i said i am not working on the db instead of i am working on the cases only so i have a scheduled training so i am uh, irrespective of what my requirement is i am going with some already available case types with me because i do not want to create again and again so i am using the same case type and continuing this so let me take one scheduled training uh, case type let me create a case so where i am providing the email id okay so whose date of birth falls today that is on 5th so his name is matthew and date of birth falls today so today in the sense uh, may 5th of september okay so see here it is not going to 1975 because i have to do something else in the background so what to, what did i do it is taking only 2011 to 2000 31 okay only the last 10 years of 2021 and last uh, the present 10 years of 2021 first of all i have to change this to change this i need to go to the ui interface so let me go back to date of birth uh, this is one of my uh, section which is available so here in this i need to go to the property okay so this is my dob so let me open the dob in the presentations you can see that next 10 years and uh, uh, previous 10 years so i do not want next 10 years it can be 0 years only but the previous i want at least 40 years because my customers would be 40 years uh, till 65 years also you can take but uh, yeah you can take till 40 years so let me again uh, let me go back click on continue so now you see uh, you can't go to, uh, beyond 21 because i said next year 0 years so now here the, this i can go till 40 years so yeah 40 years can you see 1981 plus 40 is uh, this one so i'll take today september is 5th so let me take like this and create i'm not doing much about more than this so i'm just uh, uh, closing this okay so one case id i have one case uh, i have whose birthday falls today 
in that way you can have a number of cases but instead of cases you can go to db and you can do it but i'm not going for db instead i'm creating cases so now what how, how, what should i do next what should i do next is i need to retrieve only data which uh, today's date okay maybe uh, date of uh, which falls today okay so how do i do that when i want to retrieve it i need to do i need to use report definition so let me create one report definition so i already created one report definition for you so birthday so this is birthday okay so let me run you can see there are four uh, uh, three uh, uh, records which are displaying today's date can you see nine five nine five so how do i how did how did i retrieve this today's date for this i have written sql function okay one sql function i have written so i need to go through that so here is the here is the sql function so for this what i did click on add filter i have already written but uh, for you i am showing you again so click on function so here we have a function called as day uh, and month so day of the month is there so day of the month of which date of current date okay so here again i have to take current date okay current date so today's current date it will take so this is what i took day of the month of current uh, current date okay so i'm again showing you how do i write so i have to write one function so i have to use one function here so how do i write function of day it is so for day i have to take day so day of the month day of the month and then which month actually it is and it is available in dob uh, which i have taken that's my so dob so birthday is dob so if the day of the month falls on this day so i took that plus current date also i should take in the current date also if the date is same then i have to take so i should use the same function here so day okay so day of the month of what of current date so i can't take current date here so for that again i need to take function here so what i do i write current current date so in that way i took the date so in this way i have to write day of the month and as well as uh, day of the month and also month of the year or that particular year month so both the matches i do not want year actually year i want only day and as well as month okay so in that way i took the values so this has given you the uh, given you the um, today's date i mean uh, day of the month and also the month of the year okay so that particular that particular value whatever the date of birth month you have that we have taken so say so this is what report definition is then what i should do so through this report definition i have to take that's why i have to take email id and dob here through this i have to take email id and i need to send email to them okay i need to send birthday wishes to them so for this i have to take i have to take write activity because in job scheduler you will be writing activity so i have to create one activity i already have an activity here which i have we have already taken so what i do is i will call a report definition in activity to call report definition in activity i'll use a method called as rule iphon obj iphon report iphon definition dot px retry report data is activity and to call an activity in another activity method is call so call i am calling that so what is your report name birth date is your report name so from which class so that class i am reporting so this will give you the uh, this will give you what this will give you the whatever the values you have retrieved or what are the records which you have retrieved from report definition that that i will be given here okay so then i am looping it why to loop it is because i have to send email to every uh, to each and every uh, record right so to each and every record for that i am looping so to loop that i am taking this py, py report content page dot results because your report definition whenever the uh, report definition retrieves the data all the data will be saved in one page called as py report content page so i did that so then uh, i am looping it in the property set i have set all the uh, parameters for the send simple email uh, activity this is another activity we otb activity which is which will send uh, which will send emails okay which will send an email so for that uh, what all the what are the things i need to have is i need to have two subject mes message is not required if you are not writing car name then message is not required if you still you want to write you can write it okay but it's not required okay so you can just leave it and save it 
so this will send you one email to the uh, to the required uh, uh, required what uh, to the required two address what are the two address it is so if you see here I have written current so the every for each current it will send the email so whoever birthday falls today so for all of them uh, email will be sent for to them so let's see whether email is sent or not if you see here there is an email sent okay so you can see here an email is sent to the uh, uh, to those things okay so how an email is sent because I already written one job scheduler for it so where is I have written car name also I have created one car name a correspondence rule so that correspondence rule is also using the uh, is sending the mails okay so this is what we are doing okay so I have written like this so you can see here what the wishes regard HR team this thing okay so for every five minutes I did so that's why it is going for every five minutes 48 it is 40 43 this is 48 okay so for every if every five minutes I did so let's go and see job schedule actually we should not do every five minutes it should be only one day but to demonstrate here I did every five minutes so let me go to the job schedule so this is my job scheduler okay so in the job scheduler if you see multiple times per day is there so you can take it as uh, daily so daily one day so start time should be at what time it should be 12 o'clock so at 12 it will send a mail to us okay so this should be Asia Kolkata so this is how you send a mail uh, to the person who want birthday wish so same thing if it is the anniversary also like joining I mean work anniversary also you can send the same way thank you